one. The semifinals of the 2022 World Cup are set as France have just beat England uh, 2-1 after 90 minutes, and we have a range of emotions we like to portray here. So, especially Dale. Look at the status on Dale. I'm sorry. Well, I think I just too because he, he lost but, money. But yeah, I lost money, but I still won in the end. Realistically, yeah. that Japan bet put me over. England would have just been a little icing on the cake, you know, just a little <laughs> pizzazz to it. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. Add to I'm it, the credibility of myself. If you're interested in us talking about it, please stick around. We have a lot of things to say. Um, if you want more of these, subscribe, like the video, do all that. You know the deal. All right. Let's just get right into it. Let's, I, I just want to give it a hand over to Diego. I just want to see. Talk to me. Uh, see the emotions flow. Uh, the I'm sad, fall. man. I'm sad. It was. I was rooting for England because I didn't. I don't want. I, I I'm not the kind of guy who doesn't like repeat winners, so I didn't want to see France win it again. Um, and so obviously, if England knocked them out, and then of course because of because of the England squad, I like some of the players. But I'm just, I'm disappointed. A, I thought England played well too. I thought they were pretty good. They did. It wasn't. Was it wasn't a domination. Uh, France was still good. They still. It was, it was a classic heavyweight battle, right? It was two good teams yeah. back and forth, trading punches. That and, and England and France are that exact, you know, they fit that perfectly. They were going back and forth all game. They were France had momentum at what like for 20 minutes, then England would turn or not 20 minutes, like 10 minutes, then England would turn around for like 10 minutes again. And it was just back and forth, it was good. And you know, um, France played well, obviously, they, they play well, but I'm just I'm just sad. I'm just I'm just sad right now. Yeah, it's okay, Dale. And and okay, and Kane, Kane uh, finishes the first one with a classic Kane style, and that was that made me so shut the fuck up. And, it made me so confident. and 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 I was the man, like he's so good at penalties. He's we saw, and I was about to say before we start recording at the Euros, he there was, there was even mm. higher pressure one where it was extra time against Denmark, it was like the 111th, 112th minute. And he 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 puts that one away, and I think he had another one where he okay the goalkeeper saves it, but then he get, follows in with the rebound and scores that. Right. And I was like, we've seen him in these situations before. I don't know if it's Lloris. Maybe I have I've I have some sort of feeling that somehow Lloris kind of put him off somehow because you know he knows. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm just I, I I'm sad. I'm in the, I'm gonna go to the seven stages of grief. I'm in I'm in denial right now. I mean, Look, it's it's one thing to miss a penalty because the keeper saves it, right? Or hit the post or hit the yeah. cross. It's another thing to the, just the send it over the over, bar. As the best striker, arguably the best striker in the world right now, sending yeah. it way over, not even like barely over, like way over too. He skied that. Trying thing. to go top bins, but which I, I it's because sure, it's because I at least hit a target. It's, it's because he saw Larice already going to that side, so he knew he was yeah. gonna have to have to get it hit hit yeah, it hard, but also hit angle, it. Hit yeah. it hit it top so he tried to so he started leaning back the only problem is when you do that the ball is going to go straight up in the air and that's exactly yeah. what happened so yeah. so a little bit of Loris getting mind games there knowing exactly where he's going to go so respect to Loris in that case I mean at least he can be sort of happy one of your Spurs Lloris players is excellent. Up. Yeah, he, he was fantastic today yeah he, yeah, he yeah. kept France in the game uh, and, and you know kept it level for them 100% yeah. Uh, but yeah, Pickford also kept England in the game at certain Pickford moments. was good Pickford too. Pickford was great. Yeah. Pickford was great for sure. Well, I mean, well, once well, again, it, the 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 weakness of England showed up today, and it was the defense showed up. Didn't the first goal? Great shot. Don't get me wrong. Great great goal. No one closed him down though. You can't give someone that much time to just yeah. shoot the ball in that position. Yeah. And that was the second goal. I mean, I mean. I don't know what happened. Stones just didn't jump for the ball either, and then yeah, the second goal off. was poor marking. Yeah. And then no one, and then no one, pre- and then again, no one pressed the guy crossing the ball, so he had plenty yeah. of time to pick out where yeah. he wanted. And then it hits, you know, um, cube head Harry Maguire's head and it goes <laughs> in. So Steve, I Steve mean, from Minecraft. Yeah. So <laughs> it kind of, kind of everything that like I was like a worry for England showed up today in some way, shape, or form. Yeah. And uh, yeah, yeah. I, France is more clinical. I mean, I don't know from stats wise, England deserved to win that game, but. Mm. But they just weren't clinical enough. I mean, shout out to Loris. I mean, Loris literally kept it level. That shot against Saka. And also, Southgate, I think, cost him the game by taking out Saka because he was playing so well. He was literally the highlight of that bad. offense. He did. Like, really no, bad. except for Kane. Kane played great, too. But, like, Saka was the one, gave, you know, 
just uh, not destroying, but yeah. like winning the one on ones, you know, distributing yeah. the ball really well, yeah. driving at him. Kind and then forward. he takes yeah. him off for Sterling. No offense, Sterling, <laughs> but didn't do anything that whole time. He was on Sterling should have stayed home. I'm sorry. I changed my mind. Sterling should have stayed home. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. But no, honestly, all the subs, in my opinion, for England were bad subs. Yes, Mason Mount won the penalty, but if we're being honest, it could have been any player in that position. It's yeah. not like his quality brought that. Uh, yeah, right. Grealish, I mean, was brought in some Also, that was just stupidity. Doing. It wasn't even like he drew the foul. That was just stupid from... Yeah, it was yeah. Just, yeah, a stupid just, challenge. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He wasn't even going to get there. Uh, it was just stupid what he did. I thought the front three were all great uh, that started. You know, I thought they all had their their, their abilities there and, and worked well together. But if we're being honest, France still had the better chances disregarding the penalties. France yeah. still had the best open Definitely. play chances. And I think that's just kind of... I don't know why England couldn't create any open play chances, like really good ones. You know, like, I, I, I don't know why. I just, they had trouble getting to that French defense. That's why. Dean, <laughs> Dean Henderson Dean, kind of Dean killed Henderson. some of the attacks. Yeah. And killed some of the Jordan attacks. Jordan Henderson? Sorry, <laughs> sorry. Shit. I know. I was like, <laughs> Dean Henderson. I was like, wait. I was like, Dean when I said it up. twice, I was, I was like, <laughs> when I said it twice, I was like, wait a minute. That's, that's the keeper. I was like, yeah, Jordan Henderson. Jordan wasn't what? even that bad. I, don't he, think he I mean, that. I mean, he had some moments where you're like, oh, yeah, I remember that guy. He, he's had worse <laughs> games. Yeah. But, like, but know, the thing friends? is, is like, for... <laughs> okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, we all for, stopped. For, okay. For me, it was, I feel like it's like the, there's not as good of a link between the defense and the field to get it to Harry Kane up top. You, like, yeah. they're good players. Don't get me wrong. Like, Jude's great, but that's not that's not what he does. He doesn't set him up. Hendo's there. You know, like it's it's <laughs> he's there. It's, it's good, but there's no he's playmaker. There. There's no like Kevin Bryant. You know? <laughs> he's present. He's present. Yeah, he does the yeah. thing. Yeah. I mean, like, Declan Rice. James, James Madison didn't see the pitch this entire yeah. World Cup. Yeah, Where that's was what he? James Madison yeah. does too. He kind of makes that link for everybody. Where exactly. Is he, man? Think? And I mean, like 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 Declan was good. Declan's been good the whole time, but that's not what he does. Like yeah. he's not. No, no, Declan he's not does not do that. I mean, he exactly. does it for West Ham when he brings it up, but like that's because he's do he's doing what. Dean Henderson was doing when he was bringing up the ball. Stop Jordan. saying Dean Henderson. Jordan Sorry, Henderson. Jordan Henderson. <laughs> oh, fuck. The Henderson. When Hender- I'm just going to say Henderson. When Henderson yeah. brought up the ball, that's what Declan Rice does at West Ham, just better. But, yeah. it, but like, Declan's role in the England squad is to sit deep the whole time. He doesn't really yeah. bring up the ball. We saw glimpses of it today when he was when he had to go forward. Rarely, because they wouldn't really let him go forward. But, yeah, it's just they definitely lack that connection between the midfield. And, yeah, uh, the defense to the attackers, but yeah, a uh, poor. I, mean, like, I say poor substitutions uh, killed that game too. I feel. I agree. Uh, I agree. And I feel like, like, how do you have, like, are you the best striker in the world, and you're not being able to feed him that well? You know, like, I don't want to say mm-hmm. Kane's wasted because he, he still provides so much for the team, but like, you should be having that, that Kevin De Bruyne to to Erling Braut Holland. You know, like someone think, to just, that just drops yeah. the ball in front yeah, of him. That's James scores. Madison for England. Exactly. Yeah. Like, but it, but he was, to be fair, he was injured against West Ham uh, right before they went on break. So maybe that's why. But also, Southgate does play his favorite. Let's be honest here. He does. He why, I, I, have, I actually have two things to add to that. First of all, why is Mason Mount keep getting brought on? I have, okay, I have nothing against Mason. Well, he plays for Chelsea. But besides that, I have nothing against him <laughs> as a player. I think he's a perfectly good player, and I like I like him for Chelsea. I've seen him; he scored some great goals, and and, and he has a good quality. But he has not done well for England, and that's just a fact. He has not done well every time he's played for them, and the fact that the fact that Garisaka keeps bringing him on, even even as a substitute, like he doesn't do anything. He he doesn't have the confidence that he has for Chelsea, and that's fine. Just stop bringing him on, then. Like it's yeah. really that simple. And, well, and I like it. Southgate I, picks his favorites and it's terrible. Yeah. But, sorry, go ahead. And I and I your point right now that you just said, I completely agree. Like I think Drew had two or three just great chances for him to use his abilities to score in the box. Kane didn't. Kane didn't yeah. have that. He had to get the penalties, which is fine. But like if you give him if you give him more chances to score an open play, we see it with Spurs, he scores yeah. them. Yeah. But he he couldn't because the for some reason the system doesn't allow Kane to have he has to drop deep. And he has to play the ball, which he's great at that. He's a great passer. But give him the chance to, to shoot. His only yeah. chance to shoot was, like, outside the box. Mm-hmm. Like, the, uh, come on. I don't know. Yeah, and like, like, bringing up France is, is, is a good comparison, right? Because they have that. Yeah. Their striker is Giroud. Obviously, Mbappe provides something else and, provide, and provides more as a striker, I feel. But Giroud's more similar to Kane than Mbappe is. And Giroud has that chance. I mean, and we have to, we have to shout out Griezmann, by the way. 
because Griezmann's yeah. been killing it for France, and he's like that kind of player that can just top the ball right in front of him. And I mean, most of midfield, Rabio has been good too. Uh, you know, there's a lot of players on French on the France team that could very easily just ding it up right to the striker's feet into position, makes one two touches and bangs it in. And Kane just doesn't get that. There was a I forget what play it was like, but like you know, the last ten minutes or so. And Kane was just like he was getting the ball in the midfield and had to like kick it up, and the whole attack was up, but he wasn't up there. Like, why is Kane the one having to do that? To me, why is he the one who has to drop back? Your most clinical striker, yeah. almost of all time, one away from mm-hmm. being most clinical striker of all time. Mm-hmm. Why is he the one in midfield dropping that deep to supply the attack yeah. that he needs to be a part of, or else the attack doesn't do much? Like, no, sometimes, that, yeah. sometimes at Spurs he drops down to draw a defender, but but France wasn't wasn't pushing at that point. They were just yeah. waiting. But but yeah, yeah. Exactly. Just, like, why is he the one that they need to rely on? There's just no no one is coming to the ball at that point. No yeah, like can not have to drop move. to a left back position at some point to receive the yeah. ball. Like he should not be happy to do that. You should be you should be like, oh, can you, if you give him a chance, he'll finish it. Let's get him the ball. He shouldn't be at the halfway line trying to create a play. Like yeah. the midfield yeah, in my that's opinion. That's what James Madison's uh, for. That's what... Yeah. I think the midfield was was the, the uh creative intruders need to be yeah. Change a little bit, and and not, yeah. don't say I'm not saying drop Jude. I'm saying change the way you have him play because right now I feel yeah, like it's yeah, not set up. enough. Yeah, not enough. Well, it doesn't that's, matter that's, anymore. <laughs> that, yeah, they got, they got a lot of time to figure that like, out. <laughs> going into the Euros, going to the next World Cup, like they have the tools for it. Like, I'm like their midfield prospects aren't the great. They're really good, but not for what they need. I feel like Jude yeah. Bellingham was fantastic. You know, he's like he's gonna he's a once generation player for sure. And will and hopefully grows up to be so. Mason Mount's still developing. He's still, but he's not that. Connor Gallagher is on the bench, but he's not that. He doesn't do that either. Just there's plenty of players that are good, and will be good for England in a in a white, a three line shirt. But they're not going to provide exactly what they need. And I feel like there's not many options for that. At least with Gareth, I think you bring in, you bring in like, I'm just gonna say Tuchel just because just because Tuchel is like the one who's the most interested in it. And if if Gareth mm-hmm. were to leave, which he probably will right now, um. Like any other manager, like you know, that th- brings a different philosophy. Like, I think th- we'll have much better tools to use. And I don't know, Gar- Gareth has been so disappointing. Like these yeah. past two, these past two World Cups should have at least had England in the final one time. I agree. At least, I completely. And it's another I England choke agree. where they have oh another golden generation coming up. Maybe not golden, but you know, like a really good generation coming up with not yeah. many shortcomings in any position, and they're not able to. Go that step further to to the final. Don't get me wrong; like they were in the Euros, they were in the Euros final against Italy. But again, then you should be winning it, even if it's at home, especially if it's at home. They've know. gone so they close should, in the past. They should have had a trophy, major yeah, tournaments, tournaments. Yeah. and and they keep falling short. And at some point, they need to change something because it's that's not it's not something something is that final hur- hurdle. That's not it. Yeah, and I mean, yeah. to me, to me, it's Gareth because after you know, I think to most people it's Gareth, but he's at least one of the big ones because after every loss, after every shortcoming in a race tournament, who get who, what's the first name that everyone starts talking about is, oh, well, yeah. look what Gareth did. If he didn't sub, if he sub this person instead of this person, or if he tweaked this a little bit, it's like it's never the players because we know the players are the quality. The right. players are class. The per- the players are class just can't score pens. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> well, it doesn't change <laughs> I'm the fact talking that about a lot of them too. Like yeah. a lot of them historically can't score pens. Like, just yeah. I mean, I understand like managers being kept around for one for one cycle, right? A World Cup cycle. That's you know the, a World Cup and the four years after, or the four years before World Cup. But he's had his time. He should have been gone after the Euros, in my opinion. And they could they now they have to wait four more years for another chance at a a semifinals entrance, and that's it. I mean, and, all I gotta say regarding that is like Southgate. All you gotta do is bring on Grealish in the 95th minute. It's like, okay, what's the point of bringing on Grealish? You know, Grealish is great at getting fouls, right? Because he flops all the yeah. time and he does it well. He gets 10 out of 10 flops, right? What? So it's like, why bring him on so late in the game? Like that should have been instead of Mount, it should have been Grealish. Instead yeah, of, no, for sure. And I, well, it's like the, the only reason he made a sub then too is because John Stones got hurt, so he kind of had to bring someone in. Time that, that just shows how and, stupid and he, he is. Jack I know, yeah. Well, Jack Grealish should have come in sooner, and I I understand bringing an attacker in in that situation. But you're right; it should have been Jack Grealish comes in instead of Mason Mount, and maybe Mason comes in in the 95th instead of you know instead of Jack. Yeah. So, 
Yeah. Also, and can we talk about the refereeing today? Oh my god, the refereeing was poor. That, that was one of the worst. That's the re- worst performance by a referee this whole tournament. Like, yeah, the, the build up to the fr- the first France goal did have a clear foul on Saka. Yeah. On I'm surprised VAR didn't bring that back because it's involved in the goal play. So it, it by rule, right? right? It should have been brought back. But I don't know. I don't know, I don't know who that was in, v- in charge of VAR, but questionable, very questionable refereeing. A lot of the stuff. If I was an English yeah. fan, like a proper English fan, I'd probably be heated. I'd probably blame some of this also on the ref. You mean you can't you, help you should... but do it, to be fair. Yeah, but I mean, you it just shows how bad he is because that second yeah. pen was so obvious that it was a pen that it took mm-hmm. him – it took someone to – VAR to tell him that he made a mistake. It's like, dude, how do yeah. you not see that first time? Right. Especially that potential uh, when uh, – what? when Kane won that ball back in the first half and got fouled right outside the box, but uh, they were looking for a pen. It's like, how do you not see that? Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. just that, that ref should never ref a game for the rest of the world <laughs> cup. He should, he should just go home, send them, send them back to Brazil. Yeah. Um, to move onward, France versus Morocco in the semifinal now confirmed. I think Come on, Morocco, come on, Morocco. Yeah, I, I come think, on, I Morocco. The world, the world is, is Moroccan for the next week or so. Uh, At least until we're rocking Wednesday. for Morocco. We're rocking. Yeah. <laughs> rocking for Morocco. <laughs> if the boat is Moroccan, don't come and knock him. All right. Um, so <laughs> I think, like, I still think France is going through. No. I still think France is going through. But, oh, like, okay, really on, a pure, on a pure paper, like, you know, on paper, France is going through. I think right. Morocco, though, they've beaten Spain, Germany, Belgium. Three of the top 10, top. Almost five powerhouses in international football. Who and says they can't do it against France? And tied Croatia. Who says they can't do it against France? It'll be hard. It'll be a lot of bummer. Nah, ball. if if and... France played the way they played today, they didn't play great. They didn't play great. And Mbappe didn't do anything the whole game. Nada. Zilch. So well, I think I think if Morocco's better at defending than England is. Way right. better. Uh, I, 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 think, I, don't, I think I don't I think it's fair comparison because France had to play differently today than they're gonna play against Morocco. I think it's no, but when they had possession on the ball, when they had possession on the ball, England dropped back. So it's like, mm-hmm. and they, they and, and, and I, on the counter. I, 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 mean, like, I, I just to, to me, it's like France are people. still a very strong squad. Like, no, no, I know. Without Mbappe scoring, like they're they have the that's why the one without Mbappe scoring, they still have the quality to pick it up and and win and go to the semifinals. Like, I don't think, I don't think they play bad. I think they just played against a tough I don't think England they side. Great either. No, for the they standards, great, I'm but, saying they they have. Well, yeah, they didn't but like a, that's why I mean a, a great, a good, or an okay France is better than 95 percent of the teams in the world. But, and, and in, my, in my opinion, is, in this these kind of games, you don't you rarely play great. These are the games you have yeah. to you have to put everything in to win. So I I don't think there are going to be many semifinals that are this close. Uh, yeah. Like when the two top teams going at each other, that you're going to have some team playing great. I think yeah. I think this was a great performance from France in regards to the situation. They had to beat for England, who were pushing, and they won two one. I think this is a great performance. I don't think anyone's going to go out there and say this is a bad performance. And I do I think agree. it's going to be very difficult when France get to have the ball more than they do against England and actually attack yeah. and attack and attack and have Mbappe have his way on that side. It's going to be it's going to be a little dangerous. But I still root for Morocco. I I, I I'm, I'm with them the whole time. I need yeah, Morocco I mean, to, to come through. To, to me, like that's what it is. Is that France, like you said, it's hard to play great in a situation because you could be a great team working hard. The other yeah. team, no matter the quality, could be working just as hard, right? Yeah. And so you like it's like England. England statistically were the better team, and that doesn't knock France's performance. They just happen to play a really good team. Yeah. And same same with England. They got unfortunate that they had to play a really good team, so where they couldn't dominate. You know, like they couldn't play how they want to play or dominate the way they want to play. So I, yeah, like. France played good. That is, that's it. They played, they won, right? Like, yeah, yeah. you have you have to play a certain level to beat a side like England that played as well as they did. And they did it, and they won. There's a reason they won. Yeah. So, like, there's still, for sure, to me, going, I don't say for sure, but they still, have, like, they're clear favorites for the semifinal. But like you also said, we're all Moroccan for the, until Wednesday. And um, I'm 100 right. committed. If I could bet money, yeah. I would. I would. I'd if if, if Morocco beat Morocco. France, I will buy a Morocco jersey. Oh, I, will I, buy I considered Morocco. it. I considered it today on the walk back from my car. 
I was like, no, hold on. <laughs> I'm thinking about France, it. I'm buying one. 100%. You heard street, it here first. Yeah. All right. You heard it here All first. Right. All right. All three right. of us heard it here. That's probably about it. But mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> I mean, if that's we're right at 20 minutes, so unless you guys have anything yeah. else to add as we first end off. Come on, Morocco. Morocco. That's all I say. Come, Come on, on Morocco. Morocco. Yeah. All right. We'll call it there then. Last games until Tuesday it is, right? It's semifinal start. Yeah. Argentina, yeah. Croatia, Morocco, France. We're only down to four teams. And it's going to be if, – if the past World Cup has been any indication of these last three, four games, it's going to be good ones. So – we hope to see you guys there. We'll have match reactions up for both games as well. Um, subscribe if that interests you. Press notifications, like the video, all that. Uh, and uh, yeah, I think it's pretty much it. We'll see you guys Tuesday.